The story begins, in the quiet city, the number 45 bus was running smoothly. A woman's voice rang in a hurry. She wanted to call the police. There was a bomb on this bus. Her name was Li Shiqing. Soon after, the bus exploded as it approached the bridge. Opening her eyes, Li Shiqing looked at herself on the bus with panic in her eyes. The boy in the seat saw her sweaty and kindly took out a tissue to her. But Li Shiqing grabbed the boy's hand like crazy and slandered her. He was a pervert and asked the driver to turn around and call the police. Although the passengers on the bus actively helped her, no one was willing to accompany her to the police station. Li Shiqing had to ask the bus to stop and pull the boy in the same seat out of the bus. After getting out of the car, Li Shiqing breathed a sigh of relief, apologized to the boy and walked back, but heard a loud noise behind her. And she was knocked to the ground by a motorcycle in a panic. When she woke up again, lying on the bed in the emergency room, she was only told that she had a slight concussion. At this time, the boy who was hit by the explosion when he left by taxi was sent to the hospital covered in blood. Li Shiqing was very painful. Zhang Cheng, the deputy captain of the criminal investigation detachment, came to the scene of the accident. This was a major traffic safety accident caused by a takeaway car forcibly changing lanes. There should have been 10 people in the car, but only 8 bodies were found. During the investigation and monitoring, Li Shiqing pulled the boy along the way the scene of getting out of the car aroused his suspicions. The police came to the hospital to ask Li Shiqing. She was going to the bookstore in the city center to buy books, but she couldn't remember anything about why she got off the bus halfway. In the face of the police's questioning, she said in a trance that she got out of the car because of an uncomfortable heart, and a boy called an ambulance for her. But then the picture in her mind gradually became clear, and she changed her mind and said that she had encountered a pervert. Zhang Cheng came to see Li Shiqing and showed her the surveillance video. Li Shiqing saw the boy who got out of the car with her, and remembered everything, she vaguely said that she had killed him. Facing Li Shiqing who was nauseated and vomited, Zhang Cheng wanted to unscrew the water bottle with his right hand, but changed his left hand because of the pain. Then he let his subordinates go out, and he finally let Li Shiqing put down his guard. Li Shiqing said frankly that she met, a dream within a dream. That day, she boarded the number 45 bus at the north gate of the school and sat next to a boy at the back gate. Sleepy. She fell asleep in the car, but was awakened by the ringing of an old-fashioned mobile phone, and then a dazzling light flashed, and she felt her face hot. And then her whole body became unexpectedly light, as if floating. When she opened her eyes again, she was still on the bus, just when she thought it was a dream, the familiar bell came to her mind again. And this time, she clearly saw the bus under her feet explode, Xiao Zhang, a young policeman outside the door got news that the boy sitting next to Li Shiqing was called Xiao Heian, and he was in the hospital for rescue at this time. Xiao Jiang listened to Li Shiqing's words and angrily accused her of being slanderous. Although Zhang Cheng was calm, he didn't believe Li Shiqing's words, but he still encouraged Li Shiqing to continue elaborating. The third and fourth time after that, Li Shiqing tried to get out of the car forcibly, but the result was an explosion. Until the fifth time, Li Shiqing began to use different methods. She shouted that her heart was not feeling well and asked the driver to take her to the hospital, but the nearest health center was opposite the bridge. Xiao Heian offered to call 120 and accompany her to get off the bus, but the aunt in the lead took out the medicine and fed it to Li Shiqing. This time, although she failed to get off the bus, she witnessed the whole process of the bus crashing into the fuel tanker to avoid the deliveryman. Li Shiqing accurately described the scene where the bus crashed into the fuel tanker because it was dodging the delivery car, which surprised Zhang Cheng. He sharply explained to his subordinates to find out whether Li Shiqing might have access to the information at the crime scene. Li Shiqing continued to describe the situation of waking up on the bus for the sixth time. This time, because Xiao Heyun accidentally bumped into her chest in order to take a tissue, Li Shiqing followed the trend and shouted to catch the pervert and got off the bus halfway. Although Li Shiqing didn't know why the driver let her off the bus illegally, she pulled Xiao Heyun out of the car to save him. Zhang Cheng got the news that Xiao Heyun, who was in the hospital for rescue, was dying. At the moment when his heart stopped beating, Xiao Heyun woke up on the bus, he thought it was a nightmare, but he saw Li Shiqing sleeping beside him. The next episode will continue in next video. So don't forget to subscribe Movies Explained for more this types of videos.